All right, so that's my earth ship there. That mud. Yeah, I made that myself. Anyway, um, let's go down here. Got the spotting all over this grass. Then, see, I'm lazy and I left this piece of trash out here. Look at this. This grass has not been exposed to any of the three rainstorms that we've gotten. This grass is brand new. It's perfect. But then outside the plastic, you got this. Now that's the white staining that people have been talking about. There's a hole in that one. But you look over there, green. So this grass has never been exposed to the rain that this has. Three rainstorms. Okay, this is what started it all for me. Um, white Portland cement and just sort of laid it out there as a powder kind of wanted to see what would happen well it was white and then the first day it was real bad but it turned brown it was pure white before but the thing that kind of started me off was this bucket here it was uh, full of extremely brown water, but it all evaporated out of there. But um, it kind of felt like I had put oil in there. And the only thing I've done with this is mixed concrete. So the first one I was trying to blame it on dust, you know, because it was kind of dry before. But then I started thinking about it, and it just kind of coincided with... Uh, the oil rain. You see I'm sweating because it's hot. So the heat is kind of what is the kicker here. Um, when the Corexix, or the core exit um, is, was put in the water, um, I think they were expecting the, the coldness of the bottom of the ocean to kind of take over, but uh, it didn't. It's these plants here. But, uh, whew. so basically, um, Corexit, Corexit, what happens is you put it on the oil, it breaks down the oil by combining with it and turn it into something that's water soluble. And then that attaches itself to the water that evaporates off the top of the ocean. And it ends up in our wind stream and our weather patterns. Um, up there. Yeah, it's hot. But uh, here, check out the original control plant. Still green. Got some new growth there, too. But anyway, all right, I'm going in. So uh, I just wanted to kind of put out a third video, I guess, because I've got so many naysayers out there that are saying it's mold and and then when I went and investigated mold, I went through a bunch of websites and how does it form and how does it get there and how do you cure it. And when um, it didn't show any pictures like this, what it showed was something that you can rub off there. Like, you know, it's mold, it's on, it's topical, it's on the leaf. But uh, this is in the leaf. That means it came from the roots. And I don't, I'm not sure if the black stuff is it, but I would say that the black, you know, the quartz, it may have um, weakened the plant to where it may be susceptible to something else. So I'm not sure, but it's the same as all over the country. And the grass looks more like uh, what's going on in Florida anyway. So uh, we're just going to keep watching. All right, later.